guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga koe thank you so much for clicking on this video i honestly appreciate it um yeah so today we're going to do something fun something interesting something different uh because i've been doing makeup tutorials and that's i think all that you guys have been seeing so guys i went and bought some products that i'm going to be using on my tutorials basically because i do makeup tutorials so i need makeup yeah so this is a beauty haul as you saw from the title and before i blabber on i just want to let you know that i did get these things from jumia jumia is an online platform that we use in kenya and i believe it's also in nigeria and ghana and some other countries i'm not sure i might link them down below if i find anything that you're supposed to remember as a buyer when you're purchasing on jumia is that jumia is a platform and it, it has many sellers so you're definitely bound to come across that fake product and that is going to be a video for another day but just be aware that jumia sells does sell a lot of fake fake um not all the products are fake but it, it does have sellers who do sell a lot of fake makeup on so just be aware of that but the way I do live very very far away from the city this is just a preliminary so that you can know a little bit of about me about me i live very very far away from the city very far away from a town i actually live in the village literally in the village like there are no roads there's no nothing like but anyway um jumia does have a policy an originals only policy however it's really violated by a lot of those sellers but but I have to say i was really really lucky uh jumia had a sale and what has really helped um uh, is that l'oreal came to east africa yes that is what helped l'oreal came to east africa and now we are happy people we are happy people now we truth be told as africans you find a product being sold in the us at a dollar by the time it comes to africa it's 10 times the in fact not even 10 times the price it's now like 15 dollars like that's literally 15 times the price so yeah most products used to come like that but anyway let's just bounce into the hole guys let's bounce into the hole um jumia was having an anniversary sale as i was saying and uh, yeah so i decided to buy all my things during this period all these things that i'm going to use to film what and i didn't buy many things they were just a reasonable amount of things because uh, my makeup is kind of limited and i'm just using the same same product so i was like why not buy them during this sale and i'm telling you a lot of these products are actually 70 percent off and not fake 70 percent off like real 70 percent off because i've been seeing these products for a long time so your products are going to come either in a carton digit and jumia or a paper bag like this so now they are just uh so my first package came in this box now i opened the box because i have a three-year-old son who was not going to allow me to sleep in peace without opening this box but inside you're going to find a package note like this so this package note is going to have everything that you've ordered yeah basically inside or, or basically what is inside the package like because the sellers are different there are many so you're just going to get what's inside the package be here with my scissors oh oh <laughs> Although they did this package, you now you see what was inside. They just randomly picked things and threw them inside the box. Now, this is not very attractive. Like, honestly, it's not really attractive. And not only that, it doesn't even look like... If this box is squished, the products will also be squished. Like, seriously. But anyway... So I did go to the L'Oreal store and L'Oreal is the one that stocks Maybelline. I think they're the owners of Maybelline if I'm not wrong. So I got some Maybelline products. I have one of, I only have one Maybelline lipstick if I'm not wrong. And I bought it like last year or something of the sort. Um, it's a color, colors, color something, doesn't matter. Anyway, I got some Maybelline lipsticks that went all the way to 400 Kenya shillings from 1500. So I was so excited. So let's just see if they're really worth that price, that original lipsticks. One is the Sapphire Siren Bold Color Sensational. Oh, Sapphire Siren is the color, sorry. Uh, it's the Color Sensational Bold range. Yeah, there's a range called Bold. and uh, wow it's blue like seriously i already have blue lipstick but um this one looks like a cream creamy 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 it's blue wow and it's nice like it's so colored Whew. 
says that I'm really happy that it's not deformed. You know, sometimes, to be honest, let's let's just be honest. Sometimes, Jumia, when you buy something at a cheap price and it's an original product, you find maybe the, the, the cap is broken or just some funny, funny things. Like they were just trying to get rid of these things. But this, this is a new lipstick. This is a new lipstick. So I'm happy with that. Now we go to the second one. Uh, it's called Ruby for me. I believe this is the Maybelline um, for me range or something of the sort. There's a range that Maybelline produced where like it's one lipstick for all skin colors. So basically this lipstick is supposed to be worn by everyone, whether you're dark skinned or you're a jungu or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be worn for, for that. Sorry, I say jungu if you're dark skinned or, or light skinned, yeah? So this is ruby for me. Looks like this. It's just red. You know, ruby is red. And I'm also happy the cup isn't broken. That's just why I'm happy. Like seriously, and the lipstick isn't broken inside. Because sometimes when they did when when products are cheaper, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> can't believe my i cannot believe my eyes if you're on tiktok you'll know that song <laughs> i cannot believe my eyes <laughs> it's it's good it's good i'm happy this is win win but i've not even cut it like seriously it's not even bubble wrap it's just something it's a paper Anyway, is this foundation that I got from Revlon. It used to be like 1400 on Jumia or something of the sort, but I got it for 600 <laughs> That's a win. Although, now the problem with foundation, <laughs> foundation is tricky, honestly, when you buy online, especially if it's not the, the company's site. You know, the company's site can showcase like models with different skin tones and all that. But now Revlon does not have any models with the skin tone. So you're just going around blindly picking a shade like, okay, let me just pick this one. Now that's exactly what I did, but I tried to watch a YouTube video like uh, that is going to tell me what kind of shade I'm supposed to be. And then I discovered that I'd actually bought the wrong shade. And then let's just test this shade first of all. Don't know whether I'm gonna okay. pump. The Maybelline one doesn't have a pump, so I give this a plus. I think the foundation itself is really good. Um, so I'm supposed to just pump, and clearly it's not nothing is coming out. So I'm not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do so that it comes out. I thought it was just I'm supposed to pump. Ah, oh! I was supposed to pump severally, so it's come out. Wow, this is not my shade. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, this is not my shade, but no harm done. If if they, they I, I ordered another one so that uh in case this one was too late, because I realized this might have been too late. I was going to like use this as concealer. And then use the other one as a foundation. After all, these things are one and the same. What's the difference between the concealer and the foundation? I think it's basically just the skin, the tones or something of the sort. And the packaging and the idea that they want us to be into consumerism. I don't know, just attracting consumers basically. So, I'm going <laughs> to... Okay. Yeah, so I did get uh, just a cream. It's a night cream, age resisting night cream. <laughs> age resisting. It's so unfortunate. To be honest, I have to use age, 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 <laughs> age things. Like, yeah, I used to use the L'Oreal Youth Code, but it's a bit too pricey and I didn't even see it there. Either way, if it was there, it's too expensive. So I was just like, let me just use this simple one. Yeah, so the company is simple. I don't know. I've never used any simple product. This is the first time I'm using a simple product. I've used L'Oreal, I've used Olay, I've used uh, Nivea, but I've never used simple. I just hope it's really nice. It says age-resisting night cream, 
made with green tea green tea goodness fights premature aging it doesn't have um any age bracket specific age bracket because i normally see like those l'oreal ones they normally have like um 30s for 30 year olds and above for 40s for 50s for mature skin like that but this one is just i guess for general age resisting i hope it's good i heard that this company is really good for sensitive skin so i'm going to try it out the same packaging was a uh, Nivea refacing oh <laughs> Nivea refreshing face face wash hello refreshing face wash it's written in Arabic most of the words are in Arabic I don't know if it was supposed to go to Saudi Arabia and ended up in Kenya I don't know but yeah you can make out some English words yeah so this is just a face wash I do. I, I I used to use the Garnier um three in one face mask, but that face mask um I felt like it, it that over exfoliation. I just felt like it was over exfoliating. And you haven't seen my video on how to prevent uh, acne. Go check it out. Um, it I felt like that Garnier was really good for the skin, but on a daily use, it's not really good because it has those micro beads and all those. Those abra are they called abrasives, abrasives or something of the sort. Those ones that scrub your skin, but this one doesn't have. I hope it doesn't have. No, it doesn't have. It's just a wash. It's like just a gel wash. So I wanted something of the sort. Okay, I'm glad to say that this next packaging has bubble wrap. Now the other one didn't have any bubble wrap, and they and that those papers even looked like they were dirty. Like they've been. Yes, it's good to recycle. But they looked like they they'd even like slept in the gutter or something like they were just picked from the street and not even cleaned and just like used to wrap this one has bubble wrap and it's clean bubble wrap so as you can see there are three things here so we have the other revlon the one i said now i'll use as foundation now that the other one was too dark too light i'll use the other one as concealer so this is in the shade 530 let me just try and pump it and see if it is my shade because I'll be very disappointed if I bought two shades that are not my shade. It requires a lot of pumping before you can get anything out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey! I think I've pumped like... Okay, there's something there. Yeah, this one has to be my shade. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it is actually... In my opinion this this um i think their shade range is not very wide but i've messed things up over here but this is definitely my shade it's not so dark and it's not so light i can get away with it because i i read on their um, i saw reviews by people who are doing reviews on this revlon and they said that it oxidizes so if it's slightly a shade lighter that's okay because it's going to get darker so that's okay i'm happy with it it's okay i love this pump so got this maybelline um fit me pressed powder yeah pressed powder basically in the shade 350 which is caramel so i can't wait to use that i've only been using that sasha buttercup so i'm very happy with this purchase can't wait to use it and then we have another lipstick from revlon and I, I, I chose shades that I don't have. Unfortunately, I thought this blue one was actually a purple. It was like a purple shade, but unfortunately it was blue. And um, this is a black one. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Midnight Mystery. Now, I'm not going to even bother. I'm, going, I'm just going to write the name down. And I'm just going to swatch it and see how black it is because it's supposed to be black. I'm going to swatch it next to the blue one. Wow, it's... Hmm. I don't know whether to call it black or, or maybe it's the lighting. It comes off as green, grayish. I don't know. It comes off as... It has like um, greenish undertones or something no i think it's the lighting it's black anyway but as far as i'm concerned it looks beautiful 
it looks beautiful and it looks very moisturizing and i'm so glad i got it because the cup is not broken it's perfect it's it's okay it's fit it said it was a set of mascara eyeliner and then you get a free eyeshadow let me see how good this free eyeshadow is but i do have the i've ever used the maybelline um uh, one of their mascaras the volume express mascara and it was so so good like i loved it i loved it so so much it never ever ever ended up drying in the tube and up to now i think i just tossed away the tube because it was over but i love it and uh, let's try and open this and see how good these are the two that i bought the mascara is this one and the eyeliner is this one and then i got a free eyeshadow set this burgundy bar and i must say for a free eyeshadow set it's good it's good i just hope the colors are nice because i thought it would be broken or something you know in africa when you're given something for free it's always like faulty to be honest especially on jumia so i don't know this thing is so sealed but let's just check out this mascara first of all oh it looks good looks better than the picture actually and this eyeliner is the maybelline hyper precise all day liquid liquid eyeliner oh it looks nice very colored so i'm happy with this too and i'm also happy this was free so let me just figure out a way of opening it looks like it's been Closed with the tape or something of the sort. What? The... A few the moments later. Bar. I guess these are like uh, fall colors or something, but you know, as we don't experience those things, it comes with this. <laughs> I don't even have words. Look at that brush. But anyway, it comes with this thing. Oh, I now see why it was so sealed tightly. Some of these things can literally fall out. But you see, it looks like this. Beautiful colors. You know, as we don't have seasons, so ukujipaka kila wakati. Wow, they are so pigmented. It's actually at night. My lighting is beautiful. Cage. It's rich and fragile. And this was the cheapest, cheapest one. Uh, it didn't even have a name like a brand name i guess it's one of those those um makeup from china and uh for as long as it's not a fake product it's an original cheap product i have no issue with that you know those people who write maybelline over there yet it's a fake maybelline that's what i don't like but if it's a cheap product but original it's fine <gasps> oh okay now i'm seeing okay 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 hmm i don't know it should have huda beauty but it was really cheap so i don't know <laughs> i like it though i like it though hmm but i have a strange feeling this might be a uh, a fake product but it's a beautiful fake product because it has it comes in a packaging like this let me not judge maybe it's not fake who knows i'll search it online and confirm it and their beauty anywhere so i'm assuming this is like um a knockoff <clears throat> but uh but it looks really nice it looks really pretty i'm not for buying knockoffs by the hata and um uh, yeah this blush is what made me like get it <laughs> you know i saw some blushes there and uh, 
they were not worth the price. You know those things that have come from the US or UK and they are really cheap in the US or UK and then they come here, they become like 10,000 Kenya shillings. Like that's like $100. Not worth it at all. Or a, a blush like for 3,000 and it, in the US it's like a dollar. That's 100 bob. And then 3,000. I, I was just like, no way. So I just bought this because I thought it was just like a brand from China or something of the sort like like Miss Rose. And um, it has eye shadows. They're also really nice. Not as shiny as the other ones, but still they are they are good. They are good. They are good. I don't think you can see honestly. The lighting is so so bad because I'm just filming at night. Uh, but I love it. I also love it because it was so cheap by the way. It was like 200 shillings. So it was good. And uh, now I'm done with the Jumia stuff. Completely, completely. I got some things from a shop just recently and I can't seem to find them anywhere. Okay, where did I put them? I guess they are not here, but it was just uh, some two pencils and uh, some eyeliner pencils by Miss Rose and also like a glitter glitter eyeshadow liquid the the thing here was liquid eyeshadow yeah a liquid eyeshadow those three things i cannot see them anywhere but that is all that i bought and i bought all this just so that i can do my makeup tutorials yeah and i'm so glad that you've reached this point in the video because uh, that makes me so happy and i don't take it for granted whoever you are wherever you are i'm so happy that you've reached this point in the video and if you've reached this point in the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe because i appreciate you i appreciate you so much if i was near you i would give you a hug but i can't i'm too far away and i'm so grateful for that and uh, i'll see you in my next video thank you so much and be blessed stay blessed 